Most people in the world think that they're rather clever. They think that they rather have a lot to do. The challenge for a lot of people is knowing where their boundaries begin and end with you. When we make these recordings, we're trying to educate you more about abuse. Abuse is something that people often try to skip through. They pretend that they're doing something loving and kind. They pretend they're doing something to help you with your life and your line. But the truth is, they're not. What they're doing is performing abuse. When I wake up two days in a row and I find that my clothes are drenched wet, I sit there and I wonder because as far as I knew, the wind was blowing, the rain did fall, but it was not blowing in a way that would have gotten me drenched all the way through to my inner clothes. It also wouldn't have gotten into a pair of pants that were literally next to me, behind a wall, in which no water could have gotten there at all. You see, in life we have to be willing to see what abuse is. Abuse is drowning someone in water. Abuse is cutting off their beard without consent. It's actually technically molestation and mutilation, especially to someone like me, who is a priest and literally a preacher, partially a teacher, but that's not the point. The point is you cross the line when you did it without consent. And when you do things without consent of the person who has the ownership of the human body, the property values, or the paperwork, you have literally abused that life. You've also aided and abetted abuse of laws. You've also abused your own rights because if you're caught, you can end up in jail. Now, I say this because I have a lot of people who think they have the right to take my mail. I say this because I have a lot of people who thought they had the right to steal my possessions and interfere with them like an intercession. But the reality is they didn't have the right to take one thing from my storage unit. You see, my storage unit has a law. Now, the law says the name on the contract is a person that you contract. And if I'm not available for some reason, if I'm unavailable, then they have to contact the person's name on the back of that paper. They didn't do that. Someone who is responsible for helping someone to pay a bill does not have the right to go in without the person who's on the contract present to add their name to any legal document. You see, we don't do that. It's not ethical, it's not moral, it's not professional, and it's not lawful.